Hello and welcome to the second section of this course where we will learn about graph traversal. The process of exploring a graph structure is called traversal. And there are two popular techniques to do this. These are known as depth and breadth first search, or more commonly as BFS and DFS. In this part of the course, we will explain and implement both. And in this video, we will be starting from depth first search traversal. We will first see what it means to traverse a graph. Then we will see some examples on how DFS traversal works. And finally, we'll have a look at the algorithm to perform this. So what does it mean to traverse a graph? Traversing a graph is a simple process of exploring each node, starting from an initial node and always following the graph's edges. There are various strategies to do this, and depth first search is one such technique. We can use an analogy to explain how depth first search works. Imagine you were given one of these mazes, where the aim of the game is to find the exit from a starting point. One strategy would be to always take the left turn when faced with a choice. So, at the start of our example puzzle, we take the left way and continue exploring. When we hit a wall and there is nowhere forward to go, we have no choice but to backtrack. After moving back to the point where we made the initial choice, we take the next unexplored choice and continue in this manner. Adopting this strategy, we will eventually find the exit, and if we continue, we would also explore the entire maze. This is the same technique used by the depth first search. It chooses the next unexplored edge and backtracks if there isn't anything to choose from. Let's now see how this traversal technique translates to a graph structure. In this example, our start node is A. So this is marked as visited, and we start exploring the first neighbor of A. At each node, we go deeper and keep discovering nodes until we hit our wall. That is, there is nowhere to go, as A is already explored. At this point, just like the maze example, the only option is to backtrack back to A. We then choose to explore the next branch, going to B, C, D, and E. If there was more to explore at E, we would have to backtrack again and continue discovering nodes. In this example, however, we have processed every node in the graph. There are two approaches to develop an algorithm for DFS. One is recursive and the other is iterative. The algorithm is very similar to the depth first search performed on a tree structure. The main difference is that while performing the traversal on the graph, we need to handle cycles, otherwise we get stuck in infinite loops. We can avoid cycles by keeping a list of visited nodes to ensure we don't have to visit a node more than once. Let's now have a look at both the recursive and iterative algorithms. The algorithm will be a function accepting a start node. Our first step is to process this node. This might just be printing the contents of the node, or it might be something more complex, depending on our application. We then extract all neighbors from the adjacency list and start to loop over each item. A neighboring node is just another way to describe a node that is directly connected. For each of our neighbors, we recursively call the DFS function with the neighboring set as the node argument. This algorithm would be enough if our graph didn't contain any cycles. Now we just need to keep track of visited nodes, so we can avoid infinite loops in cases where we have a graph that is cyclic. We can achieve this by having a list of visited nodes, which we initialize as an empty list. Every time we process a node, we add this node to the visited list, and then have an if statement to check if our node is in the list or not. We would only process a node if it is not in this list, 
This is our recursive depth first search algorithm. Let's now have a look at the non-recursive one. Just like the previous function, the iterative depth first search accepts the start nodes from where to start the traversal. In the function, we initialize a stack with just the start node present on the stack. We then start a loop that continues as long as the stack is not empty. In this loop, we pop the topmost node from the stack and process this node. We then push all neighbors of n onto the stack. Again, this would be enough if the graph didn't have any cycles. Just like we saw previously to handle cycles, we just need to ensure we don't visit a node twice. We can do this by keeping a set of visited nodes, initialized as empty in the beginning. Every time we process a node, we add this node to our set of visited nodes. And finally, we only process a node if it's not in this list. This is our iterative depth first search algorithm. Depth first search is a very common algorithm used in graph and trees. In this video, we have introduced graph traversal and then introduced the DFS traversal through an example. Finally, we saw the pseudocode of both the recursive and iterative depth first search.